Yo, YouTube, what's good? We back at it again, doing some modern leaks. We got some more play points, and we're going to be busting out some more not meta decks. Uh, we're going to be trying some, uh, they are calling it Manalus Affinity, but we're playing 10 lands. It's just Affinity. We're just playing some Affinity. Uh, we're going to say New Affinity, where instead of before you were trying to ramp out a bunch of artifacts to get out of cranial plating, now we're just trying to flood the board with big creatures like Barricade Breaker that has Improvise, uh, Murn Forcers, Salvage Titans, uh, you got Foundry Assemblers, then Typical Frog Mites, uh, Tooth and Scale of Gorilla, and then a bunch of zero mana artifacts uh, just to help us ramp out a really strong turn. We got some really cool stuff with like Sanctum of Ugin, where if we go Sanctum of Ugin, a bunch of artifacts, you know, play our Murn Forcer, or we can sack the Ugin to go get like a Barricade Breaker or another Murn Forcer. Uh, we have Dark Steel Citadels, which double really well for like our Frog Mites and our Murn Forcers. And then two Blink Moth Nexus, uh, because sometimes finishing people off in the air is really important. Um, when you have a Blink Moth, you know, one of these running out with a couple of Tooths, you know, it helps along with like the Ornithopters swinging in. So just really helps us get through and push it. And um, yeah, sideboard, I have literally no idea. I just went with some simple stuff. There was usually the white ley line, but I decided to change that to the red ley line of combustion uh, because if they thought sees us, they're taking four or six sometimes if they have to shock it. You know, any of our creatures that get targeted or anything we get targeted, which we we fill the board pretty hard, uh, they'll, it'll just be a little more aggressive. I decided to do that instead of the white ley line. Uh, four gut shots. Not sure why that's there like that. But four gut shots for really, really obnoxious creatures like Thalia and uh, some stuff like that. Uh, Morrow shards because they're free and I have no idea what we're going to use them for. Uh, Leyline of the Voids for obvious reasons. And then one waste for when we run into like the field matchup and stuff like that. Just works out pretty well for us. So let's just go ahead and dive right in and see if we can do some stuff. The biggest thing in this, the, the most important thing in this deck is having a very strong turn one or two. Very strong turn one followed up with a turn two. You have to be able to fill the board with like three to four creatures. Because that's how you end up trying to beat single target removal. So that's why the Sanctum of Ugin is so important. Um, uh, and then these Salvage Titans are really good adds because... Uh, once we get to like a middle game where we're maybe stalled out, this lets us utilize our, our empty cards and um, slam out a Salvage Titan. And then things like Baubles, uh, Welding Jars, get in the graveyard so that way we can get back these Salvage Titans. Thanks, Jay. Jay took this deck a while ago and he will just say he didn't have a very good time. If Tusiv wants to run the prediction out, he can run the prediction out. Um... All right. Yep. He ran it out. No, wait. Five oh four. The five oh prediction. Yikes. You probably should just do a max match prediction. All right. So like this hand's not good. This is like, this is one of the unfortunate reasons I don't like the extra salvage titans. Because like if this wasn't a salvage titan, this was a zero drop. We'd only have to draw one more card. So, and mulliganing hurts in this deck. So we'll keep this. We'll pitch this. Solid 05. Are we against humans? Humans is definitely a very hard matchup. Again, because Thalia is a sloot. Go Blink Moth. Go this. This. Make this, this. 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 And then this still costs one, unfortunately, so. <laughs> I would refund it. I think, I, I I don't know. Doing the whole league's rough. Yeah, see, she's just such a slut. <laughs>
Because now they get things like, because they get to like reflector mage our stuff. Yeah, this 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 is the only reason this <laughs> phallic like humans is bad. Not we want to play against linear decks like scape shift and even like control and stuff. And uh, we don't want to pop this bauble yet because they do still have the Human of Doom. So in order to beat humans, we have to like slam like two enforcers. Or, or like the seven five really early. So we can't win from there. Yeah, very unfortunate we run against humans turn in game one because humans isn't even popular right now, so that kind of sucks. All right, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, actually, these are probably okay. Cut two of these. Maybe we cut all the tooths here. Yeah, we might as well get it out early. <laughs> uh, I definitely would say 05. I don't think I don't think I've really seen anyone go 05 with it on stream either, and they were playing like a not cleaned up version even. Yeah, see, this is why there's just too many lands in the deck. I trusted Russ. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I I I am instantly instantly hating this this ink moth. We couldn't cast the assembler. Or, or because I 
because I keep thinking that this is something. Yeah, it's improvised. I keep thinking this is something else in general. I just not not a fan. Not a fan. We can kill this frog, mate. That sucks. Yo, what's happening, Russ? Police! Russ is here! Save us! Oh, well, I guess... Yeah, I'm trying the Nexus. I don't like it already. I It's just not good. Unfortunately, it's it's just not good. No, it's just humans. No, no, no. The list is fine. It's just humans. This this is like out of any matchup we could play against this list. This list is the worst, like the absolute worst list for us to play against. Like John, anything even with like infinite removal, we're down to play against. This, complete dog shit for us. Uh, I don't think and I, and they already have we I know they have reflector mage So if we go even if we go get barricade here But you have to tap it to make it an artifact and that makes your improvised, improvised cards shit. Yeah, it makes your improvised cards shit. Yeah, but sometimes you need to make it an artifact for the affinity. Yeah, but you guys don't understand it. It makes it it makes you choose. And in the first two matches, I can already tell you, like this first game, I can already tell you it's not good. You you having to ch you cannot have choices in this deck. You literally need to slap all your cards on the table and be like, no, definitely not better than plating. Plating will win you games, because plating will allow you to kill these things. Because it allows you to trade with your ornithopters on them. And with Paradise Mantle, you almost always have the mana. And Paradise Mantle doubles as the, the thing. So, as a, as a mana and a cheapener. And eight lands is plenty because you only need one. Right? Does that make sense? Do you understand what I'm trying to explain to you? To make it make you better? I'm trying to make you both better affinity players. <laughs> Jupiter, thank you.
All right, not humans. <laughs> Uh, one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Accept it. Shots fired. Damn straight. Plus two. Don't. I put the Titan in. Steve O coming in hot. I mean, it's fair. Use me. We could play a Titan here if they have that green forest. Do not. Anger does nothing. Uh, I actually ley lines are still relevant. Ley lines, ley lines are relevant, and I put in the ley lines of combustion actually over the white ley lines. Because if we play against, like, Jund or something like that, I definitely feel like it's it'll just be good for us. <laughs> that certainly would be interesting. Yeah, combustion seems good because, like, bolts and stuff like that. Four, five, six, seven. Is seven lands 21? Turn one, I okay destroys this deck too. I don't think so. Oh. He's gonna try to kill off some of our board. I like every other deck and I play the deck feels it's like one car away from being too good. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So they get two triggers. Okay. <laughs> One card? A land? So they're gonna have like lightning bolts, so I don't think this is the match where we bring in Leyline. Although Leyline would be absolutely hilarious for Valica. <laughs> 
But I, I, I'm saving these for like, like Death Shadow and stuff like that. That's when I think they're good. See, the White Ley Line could be good here, but they're also playing Titan, so. If one of these were a Dark Steel Citadel. No, no, the white ley line, they just go Titan and just kill you. Are you talking the red ley line? Oh, that works. Sometimes being on the draw is relevant. Here's my hand. My hand is amazing. <laughs> so we're going to pop these just because we have so many artifacts as it is. It's, it's drawn Valakut. I love that this has flash. Like low key tech, but something to denote. What are we shooting? <clears throat> you know, I was thinking about here's eight. Okay. I was thinking about possibly playing um one, two, three, four, five. What's the land that gives all of your creatures plus one, plus O oh when attacking? And then your opponent gains control of it if they do damage. What is that card? Bad. <laughs> Yes, Contested Warzone. I always liked Contested Warzone. Hmm. Yeah I, yeah, I like it. It's good. Um... I don't actually know if we play this. Well, I guess we do. Back here, here, and here. You're here and here. I think we just sack these three. I don't want to get rid of the Mem Knights. I guess if they anger, it's not good. But if they scape shift us next turn, it's not good either. I think we're fine. 
to do it this way. I think it's fine to do it this way. Then we'll go from there. All right, bro. Explore. Anger. Search. All right, so they're shooting something. At least the Memnite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> go, go, Titan. Yeah, we need to play against linear decks like that. I I kid you not though. I I've been I've been Wrath of God. I've been hit with Wrath of God more in the last like 3 days. Yo, Cassiator, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. I've been hit with Wrath of God more in the last two days than I have in the last, like, three years of playing Magic. It's insane. Well, one, two, three, four. Not enough to play a Foundry Assembler. I just finished building this in paper yesterday. Props to the jank. Much appreciated. I still think we can keep this. I forgot what this guy plays, but... Oh. Well. Let's see how this goes. Oh, I don't know, but oh, a planes. These are my cards. My cards are amazing. Unlife doesn't sound like winnable. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Unlife seems nigh fun. <laughs> seems good, chat. It's more than a single turn, but it's two turns. Uh, they just win. They just have Thas under this. Got him. <laughs> Welcome to Ad Nauseam. <laughs> well, bit. <laughs> good, good times. I'm not even sure, like, what we could have to stop that. Here, I just have no idea. I don't know what we can do against combo in general. Uh, is this hand get us there? 
keep. Boom. 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 Oh. Alright, well, just a artifact next turn that's castable, and we win. I wouldn't say win, but... Fuck off. I knew that was going to happen. Now, too slow. We were just too slow this game. Not, we we needed to hit a zero drop this turn. Yeah, we we just can't beat that. Wouldn't have mattered, guys, because you have to tap it to make it an artifact. Wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> Math. I feel like I have to teach you guys how to add up numbers. I mean, you guys are cute and all, but... No, because you have to tap it to make it an artifact, and you still needed one more mana. Like, regardless. Alright, so... Yeah, we were, we were just literally too slow. Wait, where, where the fuck did he get that card from? Hmm. No, no. Go back and look it up. Go watch the clip. Go watch the clip. You guys. <laughs> it's fine. Go watch the clip and do the math. Guys, I'm literally the best affinity player in the world, okay? Just accept it. Just accept. Accept it. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the one bitty. <laughs> I'm not going back to watch a clip. Are you crazy? That takes like years to do. All right, let's play with something linear. <laughs> More Titan decks, please. Budgie, my man. We played your donation deck list. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what I wish we could play? You know what list, you know what I do miss? Yeah. 
is um or not miss you what i wish we could play what is going on is i wish we could play um metal worker classes Make Sanctum an artifact. Ninja Delver. I don't send because I got bullied in the only time. To be fair, every list we played of yours, we got shit rolled. Like, straight up just rolled. And Fudgy, we played your dono disc a long time ago. Then you made like seven different versions. We just got Dreadboard. I want you all to understand that. All because we didn't have welding jar up. That's true. We just got wrecked on that list, Dredge. There's nothing we could do. It was not a good time. I think we're about to get K command. Did you say you didn't leave Welding Jar up? We had to use it for whatever we had to do. We played against five Blood Moon decks. What do you expect? It makes girls say woo. I get it. You go to K Command. Like... I hate Kate. I hate Kai's Guile so much. Oh, well, then I did punt. Yeah, I definitely punted that then. Island untapped is, I don't know if I'm supposed to be terrified. Ogre. Check this. Yeah, I, 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 I punt to that for sure then. Doo doo brown, we're red. Hmm, that's lame, huh?
Uh, well, besides that small pond, well, not a small pond, it's a pretty large pond. I'm assuming we're getting either Bring Delight into a dragon here. They could be looking for another Kai's Guile. I'm assuming they run 17 of them. It seems to be the popular thing lately. There's nothing on Twitter. Ah. The, they're talking about the time you guys were wrong. Good night, man. Yeah. Now they inevitably draw the dragon. I assume. Oh, I did admit he was right. Oh, I was right about the... Yeah, he was right about the welding jar. I messed that up pretty hard. Yeah, because that, that's, that destroyed this whole, this whole game here. <laughs> I'm Neff. Another bring delight? He must have just drew that then. Guy is struggling hard, man. I don't even, is it even worth playing out? I guess it is. Shoot yourself. Trust me. It's a good choice. Alright, that's not a good draw, but not a bad draw, I guess, either. It allows us to get, like, something good if we draw, like, an Enforcer or something.
That's not good. Oh, wow. How are they at eight? They were at one, right? What did I miss? Does Kai's Guile gain life? All right, more you know. Oh, piss off. <laughs> Guy's drawing literally everything. Uh, they reset, uh, they reset for the month. Because our goal is to get to 50 subs again for the month. I don't know why it did it, but uh, I plan on changing it back. You need a seven drop. Damn it. Got menace. Lol. Yo, kill a germ, what's good? Hey, <laughs> it's the person that around. I think it's the other way around. <laughs> Whoops. That, we're gonna exile that graveyard. Oh boy, killer. What are you doing? What are you doing to us? Go on. <laughs> You've entered the right chat. Oh boy. Ah, some ye old prison. Ah, uh, unfortunately, it's just not going to work with Idyllic Tutor, in my opinion. I mean, it could. I guess I personally just don't like Ideal Tutor. 
Yeah, I, I like prison. Prison's good. But shocker. Come on. Yeah. Rough. Opponent drew like an absolute god. So we're going to try these ley lines out here. I guess we'll keep these in. Cut one of these. I'll cut two of them. So, Dylan, I have a deck I'm working on. Oh boy. Yeah, Mono White Prism Killer Germ is probably pretty decent right now in the meta. All these fair decks running around. Yeah, Mardu Arcanus is pretty popular right now, actually. Yep, Mardu, Mardu Ar No, I'm doing no one. I'm mistaken. Boy, I'm really excited to see your really unique Mardu Arcanus list, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's me. No one else. They all suck. Oppression <laughs> Field is a real jerk. Do not disagree. What's the difference between Dread Harkanus and Unworld Breach other than exiling the graveyard part? Everything. I feel a strong path coming in. Oh, okay, okay. A lot. Well, this is just getting bounced to our hand. And then hopefully we draw another zero drop. That way we can kill the Tefri. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Mind lock orb cracks me up. I agree. I it also cracks me up. Ooh. Let's keep it. Give it a go. We'll give it a try so we know. And we're on the draw, so it's like even better. I wonder if it's better on the draw than on the play. I think maybe on the play, we don't do anything, but on the draw, we play it. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. I thought this was Bobber for a second. Respectable.
Yo, what's going on, Gamel? Yeah, path on upkeep here. We'll reanimate that. Ohms of Pray. <laughs> so you've played your entire day. <laughs> now what? Pray. <laughs> Actually hilarious to me. <laughs> and now what? Well, you see. Pray your opponent dirtles. No. Thoughtcast's too slow. I mean, I could see it. I could see thought cast. I could see like a possible outcome where we are playing for thought casts. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> what a weird situation. I just like playing everything out. It just makes life easier. Because <laughs> you have to play islands. I was thinking I should put in the wastes too. Now they have another piece of removal. All right. I don't like spring leaf drum. That's a pretty good one, eh? Gemstone caverns. <laughs> You know, but what I did, you know what I did think about though? Be like hollow one or something. Or not necessarily hollow one, but like some version with hollow one. That makes sense. Damn. We're literally telling all the ways to play the whole cast. <laughs> I mean, like, I get that. <laughs> Sisse. He's a beast. Weird that we actually can't do anything. Max Opal.
Well, not good. Well, we can solidly say though that Leyline Leyline put in some work. So that's that's good. You know what I mean? So that's at least relevant. Well, we tried. Our opponent drew... I mean, that's what their deck does. They have like 18 removal spells, right? Not much we can do about that. We would have never cast... We would have never ca cast it. Hmm. This is a rough hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Keep and we're on the draw, so hopefully we just they don't thought seize us and we draw another artifact. Uh, I do not want to play mono white enchantments, unfortunately. You guys will like the next deck anyways. It's spicy, spicier than this. Opponents mulligan to three cards. I like where this is going. Oh yeah, you're on Mardu. My bad. Ah. Well. Damn it. Come on, man. Why do we get fucked over like that? It's so obnoxious. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Like, we literally needed to slam Murnforcer there. Like, even though our opponent mulligan's so low, we're still, like, in a shit spot. Yep, I have a couple of Mardu waste not lists. With Luris. Wow. In case you're wondering, that's how I feel. <laughs> the slam Karn so I can hate everything. Ugin? Even better. Isn't Ugin colorless? These are not co these aren't colors, they're bud. Seven, seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Il Ugin. I accept forest.
Oh, uh, what is it? I don't even know what you did for the prediction, honestly. Oh boy, I don't even remember. I just want you to know our opponent mulligan to three. Our opponent mulligan to three. 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 Yeah, I could see these being something else. And you wonder why people bring up Tron things. Yeah. Uh, it's a hard pass on the, the Tron shenanigans. Easy game plan. Multitron. Cast everything. I like it. Legit. Um, one. Well, we just need to not get cucked again, and we should be able to do something at least. This, this right here shows off the power of the deck, though. They have the O stone. We'll just go all in and see if they have a... Uh... A no stone. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yeah. And you wonder why people hate Tron players. All right, well. So the thing to note is that you can easily see the deck winning. Like, you could easily see how easy it is to win games, though. Definitely don't play Blink Moth Nexus. It's bad. Probably cut these Foundry guys at least down to, like, a two of. At least a two of. And if you're going to play Blink Moth Nexus, so we have ten lands, I would just cut uh, two of these for, like, two cranial platings. You have to be able to win in the air. Have to. If you can't win in the air, then there's just no point. Like, because against decks like that, if we were able to swing in the air, then we probably could have won. So. No, I'm not muted. Why, what's up? I don't know, everyone, everything's moving. Everyone can hear anything. Yo, Hamad, MT, Hamada, MTG, thanks for the follow, much appreciated. Yeah, so I would cut these. I mean, stream audio seems like it's good. Weird. Every, I mean, everything on my end's working. I haven't dropped a single frame or anything. So. That's weird. Yeah, I'm... 60 FPS. Only using 10% of my PC. No idea. It's not on my end. YouTube is still working. So I'm assuming it's Twitch. I mean, if people just went to YouTube and started watching. Uh, Honda, Hamada, the list works. You just have to get the right matchups, unfortunately. Like, you need to play, if you play against a bunch of linear decks, like, um, even things like, like things like Jund or Control or Grindy decks, you're going to do really good against. You're not going to do good against decks that can com like combat you with tempo, like, like five color taxes, I mean humans, or um, like what do we what do we what, um, what do we lose against? Uh, uh, so we lost to humans, ad nauseum. Well, not ad nauseum, the new ad nauseum, um, and a couple other things. I'm just trying to remember exactly what they were. Every one of them were tempo though. And the decks we the deck we did beat was uh um scape shift. So I could easily like I said, I could easily see how you would win. So but this would be what I would cut. I, you gotta I would play two cranial plating. The card is just so invaluable because it just allows you to win with one swing rather than trying to win with these big baddies sometimes. So that's that would be my best suggestion. But um Yeah, that's what I got. <laughs>